Hello class, I'm assigning you a very long translation for next week. Um, it's going to be for next weekend. I just want to show you the resources that I'm going to give you. First of all, I'm going to give you the translation. So you can, you can use the translation to um, define words that aren't going to be in the dictionary, like Sarmartia is not going to be in the dictionary because it's a proper noun. And that would be very confusing to you if you did not have the translation. So why am I giving you the translation? Well, I want you to be able to check your work. And I want you to be able to figure out things uh, in the grammar that you wouldn't be able to figure out otherwise. Whenever I translate Latin, I use a translation. So I see no reason to deny you one. So let's take a look at this. Uh, the, I call this uh, the tools for juvenile, and it's all right here in, in Perseus. Perseus is a wonderful website that collects uh, ancient Greek and Roman materials, uh, Latin prose, Latin text. I mean, this is juvenile. Um, I can walk you through this more in class, but I don't have the time right now to explain everything. But let me show you what is awesome about this this resource. Now let me go. I need to go to Cetra two. Okay, this is the actual text. Now you notice that I'm underlining words here. These are all hyperlinks to a dictionary, so you don't need to type in words to look up things in the dictionary. You just click on it, and it takes you to the dictionary. Now not only does it give you the lexical form fugio. Of fugere, which is a word I just clicked on. It defines it to fly, flee, take flight, run away, make off. Well, what's all this business here? This is the declension. This tells you the part of speech. It's a verb. It tells you the that it's present, active, infinitive. It also tells you that it's a, it can be also a third plural, perfect, indicative, active, poetic. It can also be, you know, you know that Unfortunately, verbs in Latin can have several different conjugations. So the same form, fugere, can be these four different types of conjugations. So it can mean a lot of different things. Uh, but as you as you are translating, you can come back to this and figure out exactly what it is because the um, the surrounding words will give you enough context to where you can figure it figure it out. So, that's what you do. Instead of guessing at the words, instead of looking it up in, in Google, uh, this resource will tell you the part of speech that all these words are in and define it for you. So, what I want you to do is use your Latin grammar skills to come up with a translation. So, uh, I hope this isn't too hard for you, and if it's not, I mean, if it is too hard for you, I'll teach you through it. So um, I did provide the text for you here, so you can make notes. You know, what I would do is just hit enter a couple times. You can make notes on this, or you can print it out and write out your translation and make notes. And then whenever we get together on next Tuesday, we'll talk about all this stuff. So let me know if you have questions.